All right, we've got our topo surface, kind of our grass or, or sod there. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide up our grass into um, a different material. So I'm going to go back to my site plan. I'm going to type SD on the keyboard to go shaded mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sub-region. I'm not going to split the surface. I'm just going to create a sub-region. So sub-region, and I'm going to draw some lines. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to create some lines. So I'm going to do a rectangle box and say, okay, well, there's a kind of a sidewalk that goes around the building. And I'm going to do another rectangle with an offset of, you know, eight feet. Nice big wide sidewalk. Okay, and that sidewalk also has a path going, say, down the front here. So it's going to go down here. Like this. And I need to draw a line that goes from here to here. Oops, that shouldn't be offset. Hit delete on that. Draw a new line. No offset. Bink, bink. Take this, nudge it up a bit to the edge. Okay, now I'm going to split this. And then I'm going to do a little trim. Okay, so that's going to create a sub-region within that surface. Click out, and there it is. Now I'm going to pick on this sub-region and say, okay, you are what material? going to go in here and I'm just going to say concrete. Poured concrete, sure. Surface pattern, no pattern. That's okay. Click out and there's my concrete. Now outside of that little sidewalk I probably want to have a driveway in here as well. So let's go in and modify that. Let's click edit boundary after we select that and I'm going to do another line and this line is going to go basically across here down to there and from here probably right down to here come across do a trim with these two guys okay more splitting split this and this and this and this, and then do some trimming. Trim, trim. Okay, and finish. Click out, and there's my driveway. Okay, with my grades and my nice walkway that goes around the building. Um, let's add a few trees in here. Let's go back to our site. And let's add some trees and shrubs. We don't need the grid lines necessarily in this view. Let's pick on, on the grid line, tab, click, and say hide the category. Okay, the only thing is some of the dimensions disappeared with that. So let's undo that. Bring those dimensions back. We can turn the bubbles off if we want. So now let's add a few trees. So we'll say site component, which are trees, and we're going to see what trees we have. Looks like we have some different species of trees. If you go in under here, under families, it's under the category planting, planting, planting trees. So I'm going to grab some trees, big tree here, and then bink, bink, bink. These are going to sit, you know, on the uh, surface. We can change as we go along. Some trees along the side here. And whatever we want, little shrubberies. just to kind of keep the place busy. Bit of 
of landscaping here. Okay, add some trees. Now that will look nice when we go to our 3D views. Let's go to our cover sheet. Okay, and we're going to see some trees on our site plan now. Okay, so there's some trees there that we're seeing. Now some trees, and some of these are might even be in the way. So in this case, I might double click in here and pick on these trees and say, you know what, hide the category. I don't need to see the trees. It's blocking the whole view of the building. Turn them off. Okay. Click out. Those ones are good. So I can maybe leave the trees on here, leave them here, but turn them off over here. And in the meantime, my site plan is there with all my lovely trees and my topographic surface. Um, you can, if you wanted to go have, a, again, another cool view, you could open up your site plan, go to here, create a new camera view, say, okay, give me a camera view from here to here. And then you can maybe pick on here and, you know, pan around. Maybe this guy, you don't want to see it. Hide the element. Pick this guy. Hide the element. The rest of it looks okay. Pick on here. Change this to say shaded view. You know, all kinds of neat little views you can do. Turn off the crop region. Place that on a sheet. So um, there's our site plan with our um, subregion and some planting.